Welcome to the backyard, guys. Listen, I'm dropping this video on November 18th. On November 18th of 2020, it was my last night of smoking. I can remember it. It's about 9 o'clock at night. I'm sitting at one of my friend's houses, and I'm smoking my last cigarette. What? All right. Got in the car. Actually, I got on my bike, and I rode it back home. But that was the last night of smoking. Now, listen. I said I'm dropping this video that on the November 18th. I'm not eating this pork on November 18th. I'm going to be at a steakhouse trying to decide what my next present's going to be. That's right, because I give myself presents for not smoking. So I bought like an F-150, all kinds of ham radio equipment. It just keeps on getting more expensive as I go. So I'll tell you what my present's going to be then, right? But tonight, I'm cooking me some hoisin pork, all right? The ingredients are real easy. I actually, all the ingredients for this hoisin pork, I had to do last night, right? Up in my kitchen. And that's a dog barking, but that's okay, right? So go up to my kitchen real quick. Check out how I seasoned this, marinated this, whatever. Get in the kitchen. To the kitchen. It's the night before. We're going to make our marinade. Look at that. It's hoisin garlic teriyaki sauce. It's probably the cheapest one Walmart has to offer because that's what my wife does. It's cheap, right? She don't like to spend a whole lot of money. You just pour that in there, all right? <laughs> it's going to be good. What I got here is uh, some smoked paprika, some minced onions. Look over there. Spot right there. Look at that. You know what that is? That's some cayenne pepper because we want a little bit of kick. All right, just a little bit. And then I got some garlic, right? That poison sauce, that poison little marinade, teriyaki, whatever it is, it has uh, it has some of that garlic in there. Look at this guy, a cup of water. It's from Ham Radio Outlet. Hey, if you're in the Woodbridge area and you want to do some radio, go see Joe at Ham Radio Outlet. What? All right, so we're going to put a little water in there. We're looking for consistency, right? We want it to be a little runny. This is a marinade. This ain't no sauce. It ain't supposed to stick. Right, so we're just going to stir all that paprika and onion and you know, a little bit of heat in there, right? This is good to go. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bit waterier. Oh, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water. Oh, yeah. That's going to taste good, son. Boom. Ah, look at that. Look at this donkey over here, right? Guys, the audio here is going to be a little bit different. My microphones aren't working. Look at all that pork in the back. Pork in the back. All right. Let's pour this in here without making a mess for my wife to have to clean up. If you know I'm not cleaning shit. Put it in there. This is my marinade, son. Sometimes what I'll do is there's something called banana ketchup. And I'll take that banana ketchup and I'll stick it in on my meat. Oh, in the bag with all the rest of the stuff. You know, in the refrigerator until tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you all when I get back to the backyard. Yeah, I'm back just real quick. I wanted to show you my redneck Tupperware, right? You don't put this bag in the fridge. You stick it in an ice cream bucket. Redneck Tupperware, they don't go everywhere, man. All right. I'll see you in the backyard. I'm back to the backyard. It's the next day, like 24 hours later. I got my pork and my redneck Tupperware. Look at that. All right. Take it out of there. This is all we're going to do to it. This is it. This is how easy this is. Let it sit in there. It should have this nice little red tint to it. I'm okay with that. We're going to pour it in the strainer. Right in the strainer. Don't try to wash it or nothing. Just pour it right in the strainer. Mm -mm -mm. Let it sit in there. Take your gloves. Get it all nice and messy. You just want all that excess liquid to drop off. We're not patting this down. We're not doing nothing special. Look at the size of that pork, son. Oh. I got the smoker behind me. It's already set up for 225 degrees. It's about right. We're going to shove this in there for about an hour. And then we're going to take it and we're going to go to the direct fire side. Right? And that direct fire side, it's going to be something special. Hold on. Let me take off one of these gloves. I only need one glove. One glove. And it's still got on my hand. Invisible garbage can. All right. So. It's going to go in this smoker here. We're just going to load it up. Do the top first. Right? Listen to that dog bark. I love me a dog that's quiet. I don't love you, Kilo. Kilo smells my pork, son. Load this guy up. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. You know, my wife said there was eight pieces of pork. You know what she can't do? She can't count, son. Listen, pork is special. This is pork shoulder, all right? Look at this mess here. See all that fat and goodness on it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is the camera that's on. The other camera's not on. Look at that. You know how hard it is to screw up this? Literally, it's a piece of pork shoulder. They took through a bandsaw. Still has the bone in it and everything. They made it into a steak, all right? With all that fat on there, you cannot mess this up. All right, it's going to sit in there for an hour, 225. Let it get some flavor on there, son. And then we're going to come back, and we're going to put it on the direct fire side. That's right, we're reverse searing this. And look at all this mess here. She's going to clean it up. All right, guys, we'll be back in an hour. All right, guys, welcome back. We're about uh, two minutes early. You know, I said an hour. It's been uh, 59 minutes, so we're one minute early now. We're going to check the temps. We're looking for something that's about, I don't know, 120 degrees, 130 degrees. It don't matter, really. What is this? We're at, ooh, I went all the way through. Let's pick another side. What's that at? That's like 136 or... It's still going up, 138. All right, that's good. What does that say? That's like 120. Let's get to this side. 128, 130-ish. All right, whatever. It was 128. We're good. The steering part is going to take not as long, of course. All right, so temperature-wise, I think we're good so far, right? I didn't check the bottom one. Where are my tongs at, son? All right. If you can grab a pair of tongs and not go like this, you're flying. Uh, uh, you're high. I don't know what's up. You got to fly. All right, look. I got this dual fireside set to 500 degrees, right? Oh, I know. Let's get some direct fire. It's not as big as my bullseye, but I think it'll do. Look, that's the little ones. So we're gonna we're gonna jigsaw it in there a little bit. Look at that. We may have, we're going to have to do this in a batch. That's all right. There we go. We're going to close that lid up. Two minutes. Two minutes, son. Two minutes. We're going to edit this. It'll be two minutes when we come back, I promise. It's been two minutes. It's time to flip my meat. Ooh, don't hit the... There you go. Hey, let's look. Ooh. Ooh, it could have done a better job. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look at that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set it to 500 degrees. Son. All right, guys, I flipped the meat. We're going to give it another two minutes, and we'll be back. I'm just going to sit out here for two minutes and go like this over and over again. You know what's really cool is I can say whatever I want right now, right? It don't matter. It don't matter. You want to know why? Because I'm going to edit it, so. All right, guys, the last two minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Pyrex dish over here. Because that's my end result is again that Pyrex dish. Hopefully the door shuts with that Pyrex dish there. I don't think it's going to, but that's all right. I'll move it here in a second. Oh, my goodness, sir. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You know, I'm going to bring one over to the other camera for you all to see. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, sir. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The microphone ain't working. The microphone unplugged. But look at that, son. That looks good as hell. Hold on, hold on. let's try this camera. Let's try this camera. 
Look at those grill marks, son. Hold on, over here. Over here. Look at them grill marks, son. Put that back in there. Look at that one, little flappy. Let's get these in there. Last one. Watch out. Shut my lid up. Let that temperature get up. Ooh, you know what we got? I almost forgot to do. Look at that. You got to turn it. It's up on the top right. Shut that lid. Look, we got the direct fire side at 500 degrees now, right? We got the indirect side. It's set for 250, folks. 250. I'm gonna let my food sit. Once the other side is done, I'll poke them. But I gotta let them sit in there. Okay, whatever. This is gonna be some good food, guys. This is, might be like the last flip. It depends on when I probe them again. But before I flip them and I open this door, look at all that smoke coming out. Now it's 500 degrees. This ain't low and slow. But that's a lot of smoke rolling out of there. Don't you think, Michael? Yeah, I do too. Hopefully when I open it up, it was my first time this hot on this besides when I did the burning. But hopefully when I open it up, there isn't like a big ass grease fire going to hit me in the face and burn my face off. Let's see. Oh, snuck. All right, look. I wonder what these are going to look like. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those look good. Those look good. Let's close this lid. You know what I'm going to do? I want to push this one back just a little bit. Let's get this lid. Oh, my gosh. Sir, those are good. Listen, two more minutes. We will eat some food, son. I'm going to open up this side first. Get this side. Has my uh, Pyrex dish in it, right? All right, let's look. There's my Pyrex dish. I don't know. Can they see that beautiful bleeding footage? They can't see the food that well, I don't think. They can see food in there. They just can't see it very well. Let's look at this one. Ooh, ooh. Let's get that back one out first. Look at that, son. That's a pellet grill with some pork sticks. Let's look at, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at that, boy. Oh, hold on. Let me shut these doors. Let me shut these doors. I don't want all my, my hot air to leave. It's, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Guys, I know this light sucks on this. Here, let's see shadow it. Oh my goodness. Let's see down here would be better. Oh yeah, that's better. We line it up right. Goodness, son. Oh my. It's not working. It's not working. Listen. Listen, come over here. Here, we'll use this one. This one here is a good one to look at. Oh my goodness, son. That piece is mine. All right. Guys, the only last thing we got to do is we got to we got to probe a couple of them, right? You know, I think they say pork. You know, now the the FDA is saying there's a medium rare, like a rare and a well done. You know, I like it a little bit on the done side pork, right? So let's just probe one or two. See what's up. We're gonna hit hit the bottom one. Give it a minute. So that's about. I don't know, 157 we'll call it. This top one here, well that's way over 157. That's 153. That's 165. I think it just matters where I hit it. You know, they, they all kind of got cooked the same. Listen, all right, listen guys. Thanks for coming back to the backyard. If you want to, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Do what you need to do. But my wife is upstairs cooking me some macaroni and cheese and some pork and beans. And I got to get this food out here, rest it up, and we're going to be out of here. All right, man. See you next time. Bye-bye.